Hey, good job, so brilliant thing, and we're back again with another video. If you're going to the video, make sure to subscribe, also follow myself on your contest with the most. See, by the title, Mr. D, let's get straight into the video. If anybody knows Mr. D, uh, so this video to Mr. D. Um, and if you know Mr. D, you know that he's not, no, uh, you know, he's obviously, you know, you're a nice person, you know. Um, he do his thing correctly. Of course, follow the rules, but if it's right or wrong, he just do what he gotta do, because, you know, he don't want to get in trouble. And, but, you know, we're gonna take this, you know, talk about the step by step, you know, make sure they had to take, you know, you know, just during the time I was in the class or whatnot. Um, there was one year, probably one or two years I wasn't in the class, probably one, where, you know, I was just with Mr. C, you know, one of his, one of his uh, co workers, uh, I think that, you know, probably his best friend, he's probably best friend by now. <laughs> But yeah, you know, I was in this class for like probably a year or two. Um, but when I was in, with, with Mr. D, one thing I noticed about Mr. D is that, you know, a private guy, of course. Um, but everything that I'm going to say wasn't really private. You know, not to expose Mr. D, you know, that's my guy, you know, and I do. But I'm mean, going to go from the beginning, so Mr. You know, one day Mr. D, uh, you know, we were all in the room and he was on the, on the I think he was on the desk, uh, you know, getting ready to teach. Or, you know, he probably had free time, I think, that day. And, you know, he was using his phone or whatnot. And he was texting, how I know, because I saw it. Uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just nervous, I know. So, he was texting, and look on his face like, you know, just that special, like, yeah, this is something that, you know, relationship situation. So, I'm going to you so fast forward. Uh, uh, you know, he gets married, of course. Um, but, you know, just at the time, I just didn't know I had to ask him myself, like, are you married? Because, you know, that's, that, that was, <laughs> I was surprised. I was like, I think was you married. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, balling. <laughs> so anyway, you fast forward, um, you know, he has a child, right? So, you know, he took three steps. Obviously, two second you know, two of the, of the, that was very important. Obviously, getting married, having a child. But the first step was obviously, you know, obviously dealing with, you know, just the situation with the woman and, you know, stuff like that with you. And I'm not gonna lie, that's just the step how you put, you know, how you're supposed to take it. You know, as any guy that, you know, wanna end a, end, you know, be in a relationship or whatnot, like, you know, gonna work things out. I think Mr. Mr. D has, had took my my turn. Uh, he would, you know, he had decided to, you know, I don't know what he was doing behind the closed doors, but I know he was just choosing, you know, choosing uh, communication as, as the key, because, you know, just uh, for him to, I'm not gonna lie, it looks like he definitely like really fought for just the reason too, because that just for him seeing you know, just his expression, it was like, it just was interesting, and especially like teasing, like how you tease and you have that, that thought behind you, like, yo, I gotta, like, got, <laughs> me personally, I would've just said, I'm out of here, can I take a day off? <laughs> <laughs> even, even with me and the dad, like, yo, I got, I, I'll be back tomorrow. I'll be back. You know, I gotta go. <laughs> no matter if they fire me or not, I'm leaving. Cause like, I'm not gonna teach some, some, something about the relationship in the back of my head. Like, I don't know how he did. Like, he like awkward man. Like, pretty strong. But anyway, um, and yeah, you know, I'm definitely you know proud of Mister D. You know, he's not only a good teacher, a good guy, but of course, you know. A guy who even know what he's doing, pretty smart. Um, a guy that you know, he's not gonna just send off for an answer. That's just a fact, cause he never says no, even when he wants to. He just don't. And you know, I understand him, cause like, he, he wanna be that good guy. But, you know, Mister Diffie Watson just sometimes. Hey, you know, I don't do it too. But, you know, sometimes you just gotta say, "Yo, I'm out of here." Like. <laughs> What if you get fired or not, don't get whatever, if you're not getting paid, like, hey, you know, you gotta, 
you, you got to do like Miss P. Like, Miss P don't play by her time. <laughs> like, if I'm not going to play for the second, the heck no, I'm out of here. So, <laughs> you got to do that, you know. And then no, no, no disrespect to Miss P. Like, Miss P is also somebody that, you know, you know, you know, we got to, you know, definitely communicate. But, Miss D, you know, you know, like I said, you know, when you have for you, know, you, you know, you obviously complete the three step. The next step for you is like, hey, you know, you no know, keep going, uh, staying strong, raising your kids, especially your daughter, you know, who you definitely, you know, that, you know, that's having a kid like that, something that can definitely change the man, I can't say, because, you know, I have stories where, like, the first time, like, 50 Cent, after he had his, his first son, he went from a, he went from a thug to a singer, like, <laughs> I couldn't believe it myself, but hey, you know, that's just, you know, you know, but yeah, you know, that, that, like I said, you know, that pretty dope, obviously seeing, seeing how you went from level to level and you took it strong, took it really strong, like that first step, I trust me, like I said, if I were you, I would have said, I would tell me, said something, I stepped on, can I, can I, <laughs> probably the next step, I probably would have said, Probably not came the next day. Obviously, you came the next day, but even if with that day, I probably would have been like, would have told the class I'm out of here. <laughs> that that's just me, cause I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna tease and have. And then you know what's crazy? Like, what? <laughs> what's crazy is that my this was like before the pandemic, so I can. Guarantee you that, you know, just when we were like, you were probably in the classroom, like, probably, you know, you had probably had a door closed, you are probably in the bathroom, like, me talking to a person. And, you know, that, 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 that's just, oh my goodness, like, <laughs> I don't know how you did it, but, like I said, you know, congratulations, you did your thing, and yeah. And for the other guys, same thing, like, you know, you do your thing, you know? <laughs> and yeah. Oh, Mr. T, you're funny. You're pretty funny. <laughs> but you had me weak, though. You had me weak, because you, like, you asked me how I did not know you were mad, like. <laughs> that was funny. But anyway. This video is too long. Um, like I said, you know, keep doing your thing. Especially as a good guy. You know, you don't want to be a bad guy, of course. But you know, do your thing. Um, and until next time, peace out. Again.